and welcome to Conway Prairie News. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. I'm Aiden. And I'm Hannah. Today for lunch we'll be having chicken parmesan sandwich or ham and cheese on a pretzel roll with romaine salad and steamed peas with your always choice of fruit and milk. Please stand for the pledge. To lead you in the pledge, we have the throwers from the track team. Candy bar money, you're gonna make me I'm turn my up, smiling face upside down. Turn your candy bar money in, Emily Gray and Hunter Garland. And Ross McConnell, Sydney Stringer, and Ian Weimer. Please turn in your candy bar money. No, turn it. You can't you can't be quiet and you gotta turn it and yell. Right. Anyway. Tickets are on sale for prom now until April 2nd during your lunch period. Boom. Votag kids can stop by Mrs. Payne's office to purchase tickets. Those, per those purchasing tickets need to have their money, one registration form, early dismissal, dismissal forms, and two prom policy forms signed, one for each person. If you are bringing a guest at prom from outside of the Commodore Perry School District, an out-of-district form will be available for you to pick up and bring in. When you return the out-of-district form, you must also have a copy of the guest's photo ID. Discounts for juniors who participate in fundraising are posted outside of Mrs. Payne's office. Credit cards will be accepted for a small fee. Any questions, please see Mrs. Payne. The yearbook class has been hard at work this, this semester and are excited to present this year's book to all of you. But they are in need of photos. If you would like to be seen in the yearbook, download the yearbook snap app and type in our school's name, Commodore Perry, and the passcode is Panthers. The team is looking forward to seeing all your pictures. Attention Envirothon teams, there will be meetings in Mr. Carlson's room after school on Mondays and Wednesdays. After prom signups are available at Mrs. Payne's office. You do not need to be going to prom to attend after prom, but you must be a junior or senior from our school. All of the district attendees and well, all of the, all out of district attendees must have attended our prom. The cost will be twenty dollars per person, with the option to purchase aqua ball, laser tag, or the ropes course for an additional five dollars each, or the arcade time for the double for, for double the amount you want. Any questions? Please see Mrs. Payne. Anyone interested in destruction, obliteration, or chaos, come out and support the Commodore Perry Robotics team this Saturday, March 30th at the Meadville High School Gymnasium. The Robobots competition starts at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning and will continue until about 4 p.m. Students who have signed up to take the robotics next year, you are recommended to, are recommended to come and check out the competition to be familiar with how everything works for next year. Prom committee will be meeting Meeting to shop for the materials today. Please see Mrs. Payne if you know if you know you can make it. We will be meeting at school at 5:45 to depart at 6. The Commodore Perry Education Association offers a scholarship to any senior who is attending a college or trade school. See Mrs. Shook for an application. They are due April 17th. No late applications will be accepted. Next is your four club quote of the week. Hi, I'm Gage Edwards, and my Four Club quote of the week is, quitters always quit, winners never quit. And how this relates to the Rachel's Four Challenge is that quitters always quit and winners never quit. So if you want to be a winner, don't quit. And my nominate is Ava Jenkins and back in the studio. Thanks, Gage. Now here's the weather for today. Hello, I'm your weatherman for today. Today is March 26th, Tuesday. The high of today will be 44, the low will be 23. It'll be sunny with a 0% chance of rain. As, as you can see through the week, it'll be getting warmer, which is a good thing. But as you see Thursday and Friday, it'll be chance of uh, rain. So that's not good. Uh, but today in history, on March 26th in 1827, German composer Ludwig van Beethoven died in Vienna. He had been deaf, deaf, deaf for the <laughs> for the later part of his life, but said on his deathbed, "I shall hear in heaven." And in 1953, Dr. Jonas Salk announced a new vaccine against polio. Thanks, Caleb. 
And that's all we have for today. We're the Joneses. We're the Joneses. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for Thunder Perry News. <laughs>